Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am Naquan Jordan, the AI protagonist, and in today's video we are going to be comparing Stable Diffusion XL to Stable Diffusion 1.5. So in order to do this we will be using Night Cafe Studio, just because as you can see Night Cafe does give you access to various different forms of Stable Diffusion, including uh, Stable Diffusion XL 0.9. So we will be comparing Stable Diffusion 1.5 and then using the exact same prompts in Stable Diffusion XL 0.9 just to see what it does between the different versions. So starting things off, um, I have Advanced Mode. If you are not familiar with Night Cafe, Advanced Mode does give you a lot more options. You can see a lot of stuff disappear when you use the regular mode. So we're going to go into advance. The prompt that I want to use is going to be something simple. We'll just say uh, Lady by the Lake. And we're going to use, let's see, we'll use the artistic portrait. So as you can see, when I clicked on that, it changed the prompt. It added head and shoulders portrait, 8K resolution, concept art, Portrait by Greg uh, Rutowski, uh, Art Grum, WLOP, and um, a bunch of other stuff. I'm, I'm not going to go through all of it, but I will add a negative prompt here, and you can click on that to see what the negative prompt is. And it's just taking care of the ugliness, uh, deformed hands and feet, stuff like that. I will be generating four images at a time. Um, I'm going to keep everything else the same and as you can see it's going to cost me one credit using Stable Diffusion 1.5 to generate four images. So let's go ahead and see what it does. Alright, that was pretty quick. And you can see the four images generated here. This first one does look kind of good. There is some wonkiness with, um, with the eye and of course the hand looks a little weird even the way the arm is shaped but other than that everything else looks pretty good this one looks good the um the eyes look a little bit off but that could be fixed with a um uh evolve feature which lets you do like a picture in picture kind of thing this one looks really good as well looks like a nice painting and you can actually see the lake behind the lady and we got some mountains in the background and this one, this one looks like the best one. The clothing, the way the, the woman looks, everything. The background looks good. The hands don't look too great, but that is just a weakness of stable diffusion. So let's try a different, uh, try a different style. We'll go back, stable diffusion. We're gonna continue using 1.5. Go back to the advanced editor. And let's see. What do I want to do here? We'll go with, uh, we're going to get rid of this here. Just go right back to the basic prompt, Lady by the Lake. Except this time we're going to go with Epic. And so you can see Epic adds, uh, Epic Cinematic Brilliant, Stunning Intricate, and a bunch of other stuff. So let's go ahead and regenerate four more images and see what comes out. And here are the four images that we got from using Epic. You can see these look a little bit more realistic than the last one we used. You can barely see the lady by the lake, but it does show a lot more of the background. And it does look pretty good. Uh, this one, you can't see the lady at all. I assume she was probably going to be on that boat over there, but everything else looks good. The background, the water, the lake itself looks really good. Here's a woman, looks like she might be in a wedding gown, um, standing by the lake. She's so far away that you can't really see it, but everything else does look good. It looks very photorealistic. And then this last one, you can see her sitting by the lake, have a nice dress on. Uh, usually whenever there's like really small characters in a scene, the details don't do very well in Stable Diffusion 1.5. But everything else looks really good. The lake and all the details look great. So we will try one last style. Head back to advance. 
I'm going to get rid of this one. Let's have a look at Dark Fantasy. You can see Dark Fantasy added a bunch of other stuff there. And let's go ahead and create four more images and see what that one looks like. All right, and here are the Dark Fantasy images. You can see these look very cool. Um, this one looks like it has a nice little reflection in the water. Got a little bit of a thunderstorm over here, which is really cool. Everything looks um, kind of like an oil painting. Nice looking there. You can see in this one, the lady by the lake, she seems to be glowing. She has a little bit of a glow around her head and her shoulders. Um, once again, because the character is so small, the details kind of get washed out instead of the Fusion 1.5. But all the stuff in the distance in the background looks really good. Here you can see a, um, the woman is the focal point here, right in the middle. Looks like there's something going on off in the distance. Can't really tell what it is, but it looks cool. Uh, looks like she is holding something, but we can't really tell because it's so far away. I would have to enhance this to actually see what's going on. And then this last one, um, I guess that could be considered a lady by the lake. It's such a small image that it's really hard to tell what's happening. But everything else around it looks really good. Alright, so now it's time to jump over to Stable Diffusion SD. Um, SDXL 0 0.9 and you can see that the credits that it takes to create images is a lot more it takes 24 credits which is a bit much I'm going to go in the same um, wait what is this SD is a bit unpredictable with multiple positive prompts we'll continue okay so we're not going to use multiple prompts we're just going to use one prompt so don't have to worry about that but we will stay with the exact same basic prompt and we're going to go in the same order we will start with artistic and let's see what stable diffusion sdxl creates with that and here are the images and holy cow there is a huge huge difference let's take a look at how beautiful these images look with a very simple prompt and a style and it created something like this, very gorgeous. Now, um, Stable Diffusion XD, it, what is it? No, it's Stable Diffusion XL, sorry. So XL um, creates a much larger image. And so these images are a lot bigger than what uh, 1.5 does. Man, these are some beautiful, beautiful images, beautiful paintings, all done with a very, very simple prompt. And, and I really like the flowers that they added to this one. So these all turned out to really, really well. Let's jump into the next one. So we're going to keep Lady by the Lake. And I believe, what, was, what did we do? We did Epic, that's right. So we're going with Epic. Going to add just a little bit more to the prompt and let's see what Stable Diffusion does. All right, and we are back. And once again, these images are so much better than 1.5. So if we look at them individually, we can see this one still has um, a lack of detail in the smaller images, just like 1.5, but it still looks really good. I'm pretty sure if I were to upscale it, it would fix the lack of detail in the character, but everything else looks good. You can see this one looks really good, a lot of detail. I love the, uh, the castles in the background. You can see that there's a little bit of um, architecture over here on the side and the lady is actually holding some flowers which looks really cool love the sun in the background everything just looks beautiful and look at this one looks this one looks like a really really nice painting once again got a nice castle um and it might look closer to like a town hall or something like that in the background woman is by the lake and look at this dress this dress is just stunning Beautiful dress. It does look like there is a lack of details in the face. However, upscaling would fix that. And there is a nice reflection in the lake. Very well done. And here is a very similar image. Once again, we got the large building across from the lake. A nice reflection in the lake. And a beautiful dress that she is wearing. 
Once again, the face is um, lacking a bit of details, but that could be fixed in upscaling. All right, so now we're going to try one last prompt. We'll go back to the basic, Lady by the Lake, and we'll hit the Dark Fantasy. This one I am excited about. Let's see what Stable Diffusion does. And look at these. These are very, very beautiful images. So this first one right here, you can see she seems to be actually sitting down. Um, her body is kind of weird in this one, especially the hands. And I'm not sure if that's supposed to be her feet, but yeah, it looks looks very weird. Her body's very contorted, didn't really come out well, but everything else looks good. Background looks good. Her her face does look really good in this one. The reflection is a bit off, but uh, it is nice that it attempted to do one. Next one. Okay, this one looks really, really good. So we got her by the lake. You can see some nice, um, I, don't, I don't even remember what those are called right now in the lake. Uh, there is another person in there on the other side, which is kind of cool. Her hands, however, her hands does not look good. Hands is a weakness of stable diffusion. You would have to um, do some in painting to fix those. But everything else looks really good. Her face looks good. Her hair, the details in the dress, everything else looks great. And here is another one of her sitting by the lake. And you can see she has a really, really nice, beautiful, detailed dress. Everything looks like a nice painting in the background. This one looks good. The face looks good. Um, of course, with upscaling, you can get it to look a little bit better. The hands look pretty good from what I can see. And once again, upscaling would fix any, any problems there. Even the tree looks good very good image and then here is our last image once again very detailed very detailed dress nice castle in the background she's standing on the boat which is pretty cool it does look like there is some inconsistency with the boat where it kind of goes and then drops the edge of it but that's of course something that can be fixed with in painting or upscaling everything else looks really good so as you can see, Stable Diffusion uh, XL 0.9 is so much better than Stable Diffusion 1.5. Of course, it is not readily available yet, and so you won't see a lot of the extra features and lures and checkpoints and stuff like that that you see with 1.5. However, it is going to be released within a few weeks to the public, and so look forward to seeing a lot of cool stuff for this new version of Stable Diffusion. If you are interested in Night Cafe Studio, it is a nice um, nice free tool for creating images. If you actually go to Stable Diffusion 1.5, put it on one image, you can see that... Oh, I'm putting on one image and put the resolution down to one. You can see that it is free to generate any kind of image. And so if you're looking for something that you want to use for free without having to worry about credits, then Night Cafe Studio is a good one. And you, look how fast that generation is, by the way. It generates really fast. And this is actually a pretty cool image, something that I wasn't expecting. So I will leave a link to Night Cafe Studio in the comments below. I will also uh, leave a link to my profile. Let me pull that up. So you can see some of the images that I've created um, using Night Cafe Studio. Uh, all of these here, these later images, like especially this one, this was created in the new Stable Diffusion. So is this one. All of these here with uh, Stable Diffusion XL, all of these, and all of these. So if you can see, I've been using it a lot just because it's so much better than 1.5. These two images here, I created this one in 1.5 and this one in XL. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys got any, uh, any questions about Night Cafe, any questions about Stable Diffusion, or any suggestions on videos I should do, make sure to leave them in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.